No faint arse. It's on. Had a look. Yeah. You look good. Yeah? Oh, I can't believe all this. I, I thought I'd be back home by now, sorting out what to fry for tea. Not getting my veg at last. Yeah. Mm, a bit late than ever. It's yeah. so funny, isn't it? How your whole life can change in an instant. An instant? I've been mean, waiting for this for years. No, I had this phone call. That's who I was on to when you came in, mm. the agency. What, that job in Norfolk? No, that's gone. Keith made sure of that. This was another one, um, a housekeeper somewhere in the Cotswolds. Housekeeper? Mm. That's just one job, yeah? Yeah. And just for a minute, I was tempted. I thought, maybe this is a sign, a chance for a total fresh start. And then I saw Keith standing there in his suit. <laughs> Come on, Bert, you've got to be reasonable here. Yeah? Hello, you are. God, I'm tired, I'm hungry. I mean, ankle is killing me, so just give me one good reason why you can be flaming reasonable. Because Charlie's got the key. Oh, I want your solemn oath. I just said it in the uh, as a Yorkshireman. <sighs> Yes, all right, as a Yorkshireman. Sorry, Bert, get stuffed. You see, I can't go over. Eight pounds, six pounds, it sounds like such a whopper, but it's so, so tiny. <laughs> Just found out this morning. I've been talking baby names. Sharon, she's had a big boy. Oh, lovely. It's back to your parents, is it? Can we find somewhere else? What did he want? Bradley. I saw you talking to him in the square. No, no, he, uh, he couldn't wait to get away from me to tell me the truth. I can understand you wanted to have some sort of contact with him again. Of course I can. Before, you know, you and the girls, I mean... Us moving there won't be making some sort of a statement. I mean, yes, I would have liked to have built a few bridges with my son, but... Not if I'm going to burn with you. Big, small, for Auntie Sharon. And little Dennis. And Dennis. Hey, that's sense. Thanks, Carly. Now, yay. Ah, oh, Sharon doesn't know me. She won't want a picture of me. No, but you picked out baby growth, didn't you? You'll get there with Rebecca and Martin. <clears throat> See if I can get that thing to go. There you go. So pan. Right, here we go. Oh, we're busy. Sonia. Oh, we're just having a picture done for Sharon. All oh, right. It's just that I bought Sharon a card and I didn't have her address. I couldn't get on the door. Can we send a picture of Sonia as well? Oh dear, look. <laughs> Battery's dead. Well, that of which is you? Oh, shut up. So it really is happening. Yeah, it's on. You're a okay about it? Well, the way I see it, mate, there comes a time in every man's life well, he just has to think of others, do the right thing. Nice one. Genghis, no. Genghis, come Please. Give me a towel. All right. 
reckon you're as much to blame as him. And I reckon it was a dirty, sneaky trick. Yeah, well, the worst of it is, there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, I'm giving him my word, am not I? As a Yorkshireman. Still, more than one way to skin a monkey, isn't there? What's that mean? Oh, same place giving me jit, right? Well, that is Charlie Flaming Slater's fault, isn't it? No, are you sure? I mean, an interview like this, it requires constant care and attention, doesn't it? I'm hardly going to get that round of brownings up. In your dreams. I better get it round you, though, now. Just imagine it. Charlie gets me out of the shed. Only to find you've shacked up in his gap. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was the bride who was supposed to be laid. You'll be here. Well, I never thought we wouldn't be, not after all this. Oh, you don't think you're going to turn up, do you? Oh, of course. Turn up, Mum. There's nothing on telly, is there? Oh. And in half an hour's time, you'll be just like those two. Oh, oh thanks, love. <laughs> Yeah, you reached in. Shut up, Dale. The cab driving into a satin way over here. Oh, he's torn his jacket. Okay. But well, I'm here now, so let's just get it over and done with, shall we? Please sit in here. Rosemary. 